we're basically going for a supernatural, really clean texture. Uh, not too shiny, not too matte, just, you know, perfectly done. I don't want to use the word undone, but just natural, you know, really clean uh, and always expensive. And that's always what Simon wants. I like Simon Spur because uh, he's uh, fitted me for a couple events and I just like this stuff a lot. I mean, I think it's, it's really simple and clean and it, it just works with my style. So I wanted to come and support and also check out what he's got in store for next season. It's a three-piece suit. You like it? Changing it up a little bit. Thank you so much. All right, good talking to you. I actually was in LA for the VMAs and I came home from my girlfriend's show, which was yesterday. Um, and since Simon shows today, I came as well, Simon and her friends. And um, I love his stuff as well, too. You know, I really like it to be effortless, but to stand out a little bit, you know, clean, um, but also to have some touches that just make it feel different. Well, I'm um, a fan of his clothing, actually. I think it's just about self-expression. You know, uh, we play ball, we're on the court, everyone has the same jersey on. You know, but I think uh, once I get off the court, you know, I want to show people who I really am. You know, uh, I take my time, I'm, I'm very into, you know, small details and, uh, you know, just about expressing who I am. Yeah, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm a fan of Simon. Um, you know, I saw some of his, saw some of his uh, outfits. I wanted to come to the show, show some support. Um, you know, hopefully we get a chance to work together in the near future. We talked about it backstage. And, but I just want to see some of the 30, 40 looks that he told me that he had that's walking out here tonight. I think people are very, uh, they, they know the brand for the suiting, so there's definitely a, like a, a bit of a bigger push on the sportswear this season. Um, that said, the first section that opens the show is very graphic, very modern. Um, there's some graphic prints in there. There's actually a, a suit jacket in there that's inspired by a guy called Norman Wilkinson. Um, he was the first guy in the 1920s to develop uh, the first form of camouflage for the British Navy. So, which is called a dazzle ship. So it's like uh, very angular lines joining and intersecting each other. So that's a, a suit that we engineered. There's a lot of bonding, laminating. Um, there's hybrid pieces, trench coats with biker jacket sleeves. There's lambskin biker jackets bonded to cork on the inside so like the execution uh, is very paramount for me because um, I think obviously a lot of people know the brand for its quality and how it's made where it's made. This is one of the jackets that we did this is a, a grain grain calf skin which actually has like a lamb napper um, inside. some like traditional like parka coats which have these big kind of laminate pockets on the back and you can see there's like mac taping inside so it's a little pop a little hanger appeal in there With menswear, it's about the nuances and it's about like a fresh interpretation of things. So uh, I've taken a lot of MAC tape detailing, which is normally found on the interior of garments, and put it on the exterior, uh, even in product categories where you wouldn't normally expect it. So they're just they're little touches that give you a reason also to to buy familiar pieces because menswear. You know, guys like the subconscious familiarity. So like, what's the reason to buy another trench coat? Having done the run where we've noticed a significant amount uh, increase in brand awareness. I mean, there's a lot more international press, there's uh, a lot more celebrity attention, and um, you know, moving the format, changing the format, really kind of helped put us on the map as a designer brand. I think you know people started to take the brand a little bit more seriously. Uh, I'm just at Simon's show. I'm, I'm in the uh, middle of training. I think. 
deep down, guys are kind of competing with each other, you know, to see uh, who's the best dressed in the league. You know, uh, some guys have stylists, some guys don't. You know, we have a dress code, and um, you know, that's kind of our way of saying, okay, we'll take the dress code and we'll embrace it. And uh, it's, it's telling the guys to, you know, have that grown-up look. And at the same time, like I said before, we can really express ourselves. I like it. It's edgy. It's classy. But at the same time, you know, as athletes, it, you know, we, we, it fit us very well. And I think that's what he's trying to cater to, you know, a little bit more athletic. And I like that, and I support that. Fashion is a way of life, man. You go out there, you, it's, it's, it's what you think. And I think with all the shows going on, we just want to be a part of it. We have a chance to come out, be fashionable, and show people a different side of us rather than just on the court. I think times have changed a little bit, you know, with you know uh, the speed of the internet and blogging. I think uh, general guy is more educated. Um, he's got access to a lot more information, so he knows what he's looking for. And that's where I think um, you know a brand like Simon's Bird does really well. Of course, you know it's it's a it's a journey for me. I'm still growing within my own skin, and you know. I try and raise the bar every season, um, and as long as the collection evolves for me, then I'm personally satisfied, and I hope that other people enjoy it along the way.